Hey yo, I'm back with another video. Before this video starts, I just want to say only 5.1% of the top G's are subscribed to my channel. Now, I know some of my videos are too hard to handle, but that doesn't mean you should wreck your screen. So, instead, it's better subscribing to my channel so we can escape the matrix. So, in this video, I'll be helping you peasants to fix all your frame issues. If it works, then subscribe to the channel. If it doesn't work, then subscribe to the channel. So yeah, let's get into DAO video. So guys, the first step for reducing your FPS drops in game is to literally just dilly CSGO and just reinstall it. I know it might sound like a lot of work, but trust me, deleting your CSGO and reinstalling it will fix your major FPS issues which you get in game. So trust me this is like the most basic step but trust me it'll get rid of those cache files those you know those dirty frames you get in game so you can just start fresh so i highly recommend reinstalling csgo if you have so much fps drops so yeah that's the first step now the next step is really really basic but make sure you do this so in your PC you will get updates especially if you're on Windows 10 so make sure your PC is always updated so to check whether you're updated or not just go to start and then type in updates so yeah click on check for updates and then once you're here as you can see I'm not updated so if you don't update your game, you're literally just going to get lesser FPS and more FPS drops. Make sure your PC is always up to date. So this is really basic, but make sure you do this. So guys, for the next step, open up your start and then just type in control panel. So yeah, once you open up your control panel, make sure the view by is set to category. And then just click on network and internet click on network and sharing center and then just click on change adapter settings once you're here just find your wi-fi or ethernet you're connected to i'm connected to wireless network connection and i'm just gonna right click this click on properties once i'm here i'm just gonna click on configure and then once i'm here go to the power management and make sure you uncheck Make sure you uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power so make sure you uncheck this click on ok and yeah you can close it now there's another step which uh, is basically downloading an application which is called driver booster so yeah if you want to download it open up your web browser then just type in drive booster and the first uh, website which pops up just click on that And then once you're here just click on free download so yeah i've already downloaded it so after you download it just you know uh, install it using the setup i already have it installed so i'm just going to open the app so run the setup download it and open the application so once you open your drive booster the first thing you can see is scan so basically just click on this and it will uh, scan all your drivers so what it does is it basically as you can see it basically uh, tells which drivers are out outdated and updates them so yeah as you can see all these uh, drivers of mine are outdated so i'm just going to click on update now i'm just going to click on update now this is a really good software if you want to update your drivers which normally won't show in your if you try downloading it uh, through your PC but yeah all your drivers might be outdated so yeah updating it using drive booster is literally the best way to update all your drivers so yeah okay for the next step I've given you some commands in the description so the first command just copy that 
So these commands could possibly fix your FPS drops. So the first command is given in the description. Just copy the first command. Then just click on start. Type in run. And then just open up run. Once you're here, just paste the first command which I've given in the description. B, C, D, edit. Yeah, this one. So just click on OK. And yeah, after that, just restart your PC. So after you're done restarting your PC, the next step is to copy the second command, which I've given in the description. So this is a launch option, which could also fix your FPS drops. So just copy this launch option, which I've given in the description. Open up Steam, right click your CSGO, click on properties, and then just paste this launch option soft particles default off so yeah this one just paste it in your launch options and yeah you can close it now for the next step after you open your csgo make sure your csgo is running in the background then the next thing you have to do is to right click and then just click on task manager once you open up task manager just right click csgo click on go to details and then as you can see csgo is running in the background so just right click csgo and set priority make sure it's set on high and then the next thing you have to do is to click on set affinity and click on cpu zero click on ok now the set affinity thing which uh, you can try if it helps you to reduce your FPS drops, yeah, then it's good. But if it really doesn't help you in your game that much, you can always go back by just clicking on set affinity and all processors. So yeah, try both these settings and yeah, let me know if it helped you to reduce your FPS drops in game. So yeah, let's go to the next step. Now for the next step, open up your CSGO and open up your video settings. So just make sure your resolution is 800 into 600. Even if you're using 1024 into 768, I highly recommend going for 800 into 600. Come on guys, you can't be having really high quality in game at the same time, really high frames. So if you want higher frames and lesser FPS drops, I would say 800 into 600 stretched. Resolution force to three is the best option you can go for. So yeah, make sure you go for 800 into 600. This is what, what I use. So yeah, this is optional, but still doing this might will increase your frames and reduce your FPS drops. So yeah, it's optional, but yeah, you can try this. Also, another thing you can do is to disable your boost player contrast. Now, I know many of you guys might have this enabled, but trust me, disabling this might be much better even though it might be a disadvantage for you in game it can help you reduce your fps drops so yeah why not disable boost player contrast so yeah you can disable boost player contrast and yeah let's go to the next step now for the next step i've given you another command in the description so for this open up your csgo and just open up your console if your console is disabled just make sure you go to settings and in game just make sure your enable developer console is yes and then yeah just open it up so in the console make sure you paste this command which is seal underscore threaded underscore bone underscore setup which is one so yeah make sure you copy this command and paste it in your console in csgo and yeah click on submit what this does it it increases your frames by a bit but it definitely could help you fix your FPS drops but it definitely helps you get a little bit of those extra frames possibly fixing your FPS drops in game so yeah this is a really good command yeah it's definitely worth trying and you must try this so yeah let's go to the next step so like I said in the start of the video, if this works, 
then please subscribe to the channel. If it doesn't work, then please subscribe to the channel before I lock you in the basement with my uncle. So, so now, I'm not gonna say much. Just subscribe to the channel because all my content is free for you peasants. I'm not even paying for this, like imagine. Okay, anyways, adios mes amigos, hola mes amis. I'm going to end the video here. Piss off.